Have you ever been working on your project inside of Descript and noticed this little menu over here of timeline tools? Or maybe you accidentally hit one of the letters on your keyboard that corresponds to those tools and activated them unknowingly. Hi, my name is Meredith and I'm here to help you look good, sound good, and feel good on camera. And this is just one of my 21 days of Descript series here on my channel. We're gonna talk about these funky little uh, timeline tools. They're not actually that funky. They do. Have have a purpose. Now, by default, you probably are already using this select tool, which is an A on your keyboard. That's where you're going to see your regular little click arrow. This lets you select things on the timeline. It lets you do the stuff that you need to do up here in your transcript and everything. It's just the normal average everyday click tool and it lets you select things, maybe hit the S button on your keyboard to split a clip, hit it again to split your clip again, select that middle section and then hit delete. Or if you have a section that you want to split and then move, you would want to be using your select tool to pick it up and then move it to another part of your timeline as well. You probably already know all about that tool. Now the blade tool, which is gonna be a B on your keyboard, gives you that little blade, it looks like a knife. And if you wanna make a cut, all you have to do is tell it where you wanna slice it and it will slice it. It's pretty straightforward, but you can cut things up and then just hit delete without having to select it and then split it and then select it and delete it. You just have to remember that anything you click is going to get cut. You gotta be careful with the blade. You know what I'm saying? The range tool is a, a newfound favorite of mine. I always forgot that the range tool was here, but I talked about this a little bit in one of my previous videos where I showed how to remove silence in your video project. There's a couple different ways to do it. And with the range tool selected, which you can either hit the button or hit the R on your keyboard, all you have to do is click and drag your mouse and it will select arrange and then if you hit delete it'll delete it no cutting no splitting and you still have your handles on the end so that if you uh if it's not perfect you can adjust it and make those fine tune adjustments along the way but let's say you want to select this little section of this clip in the timeline and you can see up here in the transcript that it those words are selected also. But you can see that once I have something selected, I now have the little hand tool. It doesn't switch tools over in the tool selector, but I could take this one little clip and put it somewhere else. I could move it up and use it as B-roll. I could also come over here to the right under layer settings. And let's just say I had a section where I need to lower the volume or raise the volume. I can change those settings and it will apply just to that section that I have selected with the range tool. The next tool over is the slip tool, which is the Y on your keyboard. The slip tool comes in really handy with things like B-roll. So let me show you an example. In my project file, I have this long 28 minute uh, screen recording. So let's say I wanna throw this in for a little bit of B-roll, but I only want it to be there for like four or five seconds. If I add this whole thing, down as B-roll. And I definitely don't want that. I only want a few seconds. So I'm just going to use the select tool to make a few cuts. So I have just this one section of B-roll, but that's not the section that I wanted to have in there, right? So with that clip selected, I can come over here to the slip tool and it gives me the little back and forth arrow as my cursor. And I can then move the footage without moving the clip on the timeline. So it stays right there on the timeline, starts and ends where I want it to. All it's doing is moving the footage within so that the part of that long 28 minute B-roll that shows up is the part that I want to have show up. The hand tool over here, which is the H on your keyboard, basically allows you to just kind of navigate around your timeline. Now I use a trackpad as my mouse, which I think is a lot more efficient for editing. And so all I have to do is swipe back and forth on the trackpad and it swipes back and forth on my timeline. But with the hand tool, I can just grab the timeline and move it 
where I want to go. Look at the little cursor. It's so cute. It actually grabs the timeline and then moves it around. Usually for the most part, I have the select tool selected because that's the one that is the most useful, but the range tool is really great for doing a rough cut of the edit. So like quickly selecting sections that I want to get rid of. So I often use my keyboard to switch back and forth from A to R and A to R between the select tool and the range tool. Now I have a Descript cheat sheet that's a free download down in the description below this video. There are a bunch of different keyboard shortcuts in there and I just updated it for some of the new changes that recently came to Descript. So I'll link to that down in the description. And if you want more really helpful Descript tutorials, tips, tricks, ways to make your video editing more efficient, faster so that you can grow your audience on YouTube or grow your podcast or just create great videos for your business, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.